surprise sorry i totally jumped the gun but um i was like i just want to get this started so hello welcome to the twisted beanstalk and this is me pooping rainbows awesome right it's actually a onesie I got this off of Etsy and it's amazing. Okay, let's let's just wait here. I'm actually just gonna start my paints before start my paints. Hello there. Oh something just fell over here. Uh let's put that there. Um I am sealing up a baby. And I am also, hello, 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 everybody. How are you guys? Hello to the UK. <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, crazy times out there right now, right? Crazy, crazy, craziness going on. Um, yeah, so I got this onesie, oh, and it's so amazing. I freaking love it. I was so okay when she was or when she was delivering it. I was like, oh, my package. I was like freaking out, like running down, like my driveway. Like I'm not even kidding. It's actually a onesie. See, woo. And it's amazing. Uh, did you read the store about? No, I no, I didn't. Um, yeah, so I was so excited to get this in the mail. But yes, it has been crazy. Um, wow, I don't even know where to begin with that one. But I am going to start painting this one. I have a doll to actually... Uh, just do the end stuff on it and this is the little book that it comes with and it is so freaking adorable so it was sculpted by cindy musgrove and then this book was written by sarah melman and it's kind of like the backstory of the curse Mungin, which is this and it is so cute in person like i am so i'm like i freaking love it I can't wait to get the other one. I have to wait a little bit though before I get the other one because I, ha I have to kind of see what's going to happen. It's freaking cute. Yeah, I know. So I wanted to quickly um, also make a, an announcement. Um, so I'm in Washington State. I'm in a more of a rural area, but I am in Washington State. And I got some emails about, um, obviously like our state is in crisis. A lot of state, well, I think there's like a couple, oh my God, I don't even know. Anyway, um, that the foster system is in like critical need of, um, foster. Let me, let me put you up. Where's the, Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, what a scrub I am. Um, anyways, hello to Scotland. What the heck? Um, yeah, so anyways, here's my, here's my partner in crime right here. Um, I'm sorry. So our, our uh, state is in crisis and like the foster system and everything. And so they're like saying how um, foster families just, they're like fast tracking paperwork and they're just trying to get as many people as possible to help because there's also healthcare professionals that have nowhere for their children to go. Um, so everything is kind of like collapsing on itself. So we had already, like you guys know, I've, I am a licensed foster home, but, uh, I had started the process for the, the private agency and, um, so now they're like, we are so desperate. Like they're even like the number of kids that you can take, they're like stretching all the limits and everything just because it is such a crisis. 
and it's just going to get worse, which is crazy. But, um, yeah, so I'm getting, doing the license from zero, which is newborn to, uh, to 10, 10 years old. I think we're doing zero to 10, something like that. But, um, the state actually is coming in and like, we did a home check the other day and like, we're switching around the bedrooms and they're actually bringing beds for us as well. Like hit, um, him particularly, the guy that was here was like three over his limit or something just because like they are so desperate. So anyways, yeah. So I have these beds coming, um, these single beds and I have to get like, <sighs> blankets and stuff like that because I don't even think I have blankets that'll fit those. Hey Jen, creative creative newborns. Um, I don't even think that I have blankets that fit single beds, but some people have been donating stuff and they had asked me if they can help out in a way. And I'm not I'm not I'm not asking like I'm not like oh you guys should donate blah 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 like I. If it, I've had some people ask if there was something that they could do. So like a few people are sending stuff. So um, if anybody wants to participate in that, in helping the foster children or the children, um, I can put my, my um, lockbox address down below and um, you don't have to worry. I'm not going to take it and sell it and go to, you know, court with it or anything that I mean uh yeah so we um even like we have to buy for the newborns like the di diapers and stuff like that hey Carol did I say hi to you already if I didn't hello um yeah so I had a, a couple of people send material that can little blankets be made um and I don't know some other some other stuff for the kids for the children so um it's just crazy but i wanted to show you the paperwork okay so this is just part of the one do you have an amazon wish list um no i don't but like i said i'm not like i feel awkward saying something but i'm just i'm just wanted to put it out there on social media to know that like we're trying to do our part and other people are trying to do their part so then they're like can we help um send you stuff for the foster children so i was like yes like we are always some some kids with most kids come with absolutely nothing and not only that we're taking uh, medically fragile and um i will be getting babies yes so we're taking, but I have other, they're bringing other beds so I can take siblings. So the siblings are not um, split up, which, which is nice. Before I couldn't because I am at max capacity because it's six in Washington. Um, and I have four of my own children, but now they've like upped the amount. So then there isn't as much splitting up of the kids. Um, but yeah, so some of the kids are like four and five and they're still in diapers. So we always can use diapers. Um, I have a hard time uh, changing those diapers when they're, you know, older or housebreaking. Wait, no, it's not housebreaking. What is it called for children? <laughs> Potty training. That's what it is. <laughs> um, I don't know how many I'm getting, um, but let's just say probably i'm gonna say probably four um not infants but older children that are living in hotels right now like and the skookum hall which is full of children um we just made some masks some really cute little masks out of material which are not technically they're not medical for medical purposes but they're at least for kids you know to do their part to learn how to house breaking i know whoops why didn't you tell me you're just laughing over there telling me that i freaking have to house train children <laughs> oh wait that's how i learned <laughs> i was i was house trained <laughs> um but yeah so anyway so like we did masks and then but we're we are the most important thing you can do is just stay at home right now 
um, but the kids are coming here. Some some people don't even want to take them because they're afraid that they're going to catch something. But so the whole system is just kind of collapsing on itself, you know. So um, so it's almost like the the alarm went off, and uh, so now I had other paperwork that I had to do, and some more vaccinations that I had to get. Um, hello, hello. And so anyway, so I will put in the description and anything you guys want to participate in, it is up to you. Um, I would appreciate it. I am always giving kids, uh, foster babies, foster kids stuff, blankets, um, pillowcases, like, um, stuffed animals. They, I usually have one of those. Um, I usually have diapers up to like a 5T or like training pants or whatever they're called uh training pads you would think i would know the names of these considering i buy them and use them but i don't because that's just the way that i am in life and but um let's see let's see what else oh yeah and then so i need to locate also a single twin bed um twin bed blankets um that i need to get and let me think um there was a couple other things that there was a few things that i needed to do um i had a list he was telling me but i think for so anything like that like that has um you know i should have wrote it down but i didn't i don't know maybe i can put i don't know i feel awkward i'm sorry i feel i i don't know how to feel about that but it's not for me it, it's not for me it's for the children it's for our children so that also need help um it's not just the elderly and other people and like the virus it's also children being uh what's the word i was just looking for uh affected they're affected normally and so now it's just insane. I mean, with kids, them not going to school, and now there's multiple children that, that have nowhere to go. So I'm actually, they're asking foster homes also to open up their house just for the day for because they have nowhere to go. So they can, so it'd be like sort of like a daycare, but there's things that I, I was supposed to do, I am supposed to do by Friday. Um, and then that's when everything will be done. So let me go ahead and show you. This is just part of the paperwork and it has all these like um background where were you born where were you raised let's see uh list the ages names of your siblings what was your relationship with your siblings what does it look like now um let's see and then like where were you born where were you raised what was your relationship like with your parents thank you it's a onesie and then yeah so it just like goes on and on and on and on and on <laughs> that's just one okay so now i'm gonna show you what it looks like see i've i've look at i've took in my youtube like hostage over the it's because earlier i wanted to make a video about um about the things going on in the foster system and how everybody can help if they want to help the big kits from what do you mean this one i got it from mcpherson's uh the red tape that holds up everything it's always yeah um ugh. okay so here's a, what a packet looks like and so this is like vaccinations this is per this is personal and all the personal information and uh questions that I had, some I left blank because I was working on it and I was just like how am I supposed to answer that like some of them are so hard to answer I'm like how do you it's so broad you know what I mean it's like one question it's like do I really want to put my opinion about it no one on the desk oh hey hey now whoa just throwing your body limbs all around this one is from McPherson's I put the link in the description it's a, it's a Kermunchkin, Kermunchkin, <gasps> excuse me. Anyway, um, I feel like I probably shouldn't put my opinion on some of these. You know what I mean? It's like, what expectations regarding education do you have for the children in your home? And then I just put, we understand education is important. <laughs> 
way to go, Bean. I mean, clearly it did everything for me. <laughs> it's a good thing I went to school. Oh wait, I can't spell anything anyway. <laughs> I can't even spell grammar. I was like, how do you spell grammar? I didn't even know how to spell, I'm like, this child right here just keeps on throwing its limb around. Okay, so then this is a background check that you have to do on everything, everybody, everything, everybody older than 16. So those are back. So we all have to do a background check. Um, oh yeah. And then this I finished yesterday. I was able to type it out though. So it was a little less stressful on me, but again, lots of questions. Um, what is your general philosophy on the discipline of a child? What is your general philosophy? General philosophy. General philosophy. Like, I feel like, how would you even begin to explain that? Like, it's, I don't know. Anyways, and then it has things like, what if a child lies to you? <laughs> and then here's my answer. Okay, so I said I was gonna paint in this video and now I'm on here talking about fostering. <laughs> so that's just me. That's just me in life all the time. Just do something that I say I'm gonna do and I don't do it. Okay, so I have, what if a child lies to you? You should, depends on the needs of the child. Some children need more help than others. It's true. It's like, if you have multiple children, how are you going to answer that? It's so difficult. People are coming here to the Highlands of Scotland for the cities to escape the virus and using up our limited supplies. It's awful. Man, output. Yeah, you give them a time out or you give them a time in. That's my philosophy. So this one is, what if a child lies to you? And my answer is, every child lies and every adult. We are lying, lying beings, all of us. <laughs> if you say you don't lie, you're a liar. <laughs> uh, so like, you know, and then I just give them, I just give them uh to teach them that they have the ability to say sorry and apologize and learn from the situation. But like, I mean, kids especially, if you give kids a lot of discipline, then they're not gonna wanna tell you the truth because they're gonna be scared they're gonna get in trouble. So I think it's natural, but anyway, so. <laughs> so there's that. And then we have, uh, let's see, those are some certificates that I got background check this is my mine but my husband has to do one too but mine's almost done um, vaccines the dogs had to get vaccinated um, we had to like child proof our house and then um, that's just some more information Ooh! and then we have to do okay let's see so I don't even know how this is going to be done because it's an applicant medical report. And so you have to sign for it and then your doctor fills it out and then you get it and then they share it. Required is, okay, so this is specifically if you're taking kids under two, you have to have a medical report. So I don't even know how we're going to get that in time or now because it's, because of you know the virus thing going on so i uh, that's kind of that might mm, i'm not sure about that and then financial worksheet and then we have a training plan policy agreements oh my god it could just like freaking let's see okay so here's policy agreements And that's the financial worksheet that I need to do. And then this here is employed foster parent child care plan. Um, this is an emergency evacuation plan um, that I, I haven't done. I'll do that today probably. And then this is where you put a sketch of your house and your emergency plan. Then you have a medications list um marital domestic partner history and then 
special needs survey of basically what you can, let's see, difficult. Okay, so some children with special needs may present some of the following issues. Please check the behaviors presenting problems that you feel you'd have the most difficult handling. So I put, I mean, there's like, there's some things on here. <laughs> like it's so, some of these things, there's no way a kid under 10 would do. So teenagers, probably. Um, and then like, as far as like the special needs um, you're able to care for, and then you pick that. And then there's a list of different things that you are yes, no, or maybe. So I did that. And then there's my license. I did my CPR training and I'm going to be doing, let's see, this is authorization. Oh yeah. Those are our background, our background checks. So yeah. So Whoa, I just hit it in the face. I'll put this back with my... So anyways, yeah, so that's what we're working towards. Just getting the rest of this stuff done. And being fast-tracked. And then... Huh, and then it all ends from there. <laughs> anyway, so what it... It is so crazy what's going on, hey? Total, total subject change so abruptly. Let's see. Goodness, I don't think I could foster children. It's so complicated. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, um, you, that's just part of it. You also have to do 36 hours of training. You have to do 24 hours of CPR training. You have to do, um, like these videos on Netflix that are like purple crying and like infant care, infant and safety. And then there's also your home check, which is, so all criminal background checks as well, medical history checks, all your vaccinations, even your pets have to have a, a vac like their vaccines and their vet checks. Um, and then they come into your house and look through everything or not they don't look through everything but they there's a list i think i showed you guys before but there's like a home checklist and it's so harsh and then it's incredibly hard to get through all of it and then once you get through it um they it's like like now with what's happening they're kind of just like okay, here, <laughs> you know, it's, they need to, I don't know. I mean, you're taking care of other people's children. So I, I do understand, but at the same time, now we're going through this and I honestly, I don't even know what's going to happen. What is my, oh, so yeah. Um, speaking of husband and kids, what they think they, we all have to be interviewed and we're interviewed separately and yeah, so they, they're fine with it. They don't, we're not taking teenagers. It's important to know your family dynamic as in you, we've been fostering for like what, four years, four years, four years now. And so I'm still pretty green. Um, but what was I going to say? about that well most of them love the babies like we love the babies like it's that's fine but teenagers know it hurts the dynamic plus I have a 16 year old daughter so I don't allow any older boys um and then generally they have to be younger than my youngest boys because otherwise it changes the dynamic of the family and it could just disrupt everything so um yeah so 10 and under but before I was babies, just babies, but now I'm stretched it out so then I can help in this whole situation of things. Cause I'm at home painting away. And so I think it's just important for me to do my part. God, it is so, it's very hard to get licensed though. 
I'm trying to decide on what color I should do this baby. I don't know, it's so cute. Good on you, Bean. Thank you. It's hard. It's, trust me, it's freaking low hard. And I am the most, like, I'm pretty patient and understanding. Currently on lockdown in Illinois. Um, are your kids, did they say, did they say if your kids are going back in April or are they out for the rest of the year? I'm curious. Cause in Washington, they haven't said that. They said it's still, it says April 24th, but I highly doubt they're going to do that. Although recently, um, today it started that they got lunches. Kids got lunches, um, in Sudden Valley, which is the place that I'm from. And, um, I just think it's really freaking awesome. You just drive by and grab, uh, like a lot, a to go breakfast and lunch for all four kids. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, God, I have to, there's some things that I have to do around the house for the, oh, don't let me forget to put in the link in case you guys want to donate something to the children. Oh, and also this I got for my trip that I'm not going on. <laughs> Aren't these awesome? They look huge. They do look huge, but these are so cute under dresses. But I have like, I had like an actual really cute little um, wings and stuff to go with it. So I freaking love them. I think they're so awesome. <sighs> Pink and purple. Let's vote. Our kids and our district gets breakfast and lunch every morning. That's good. So it's pretty amazing. Um, I'm new at painting reboards. Is the paint supposed to be smooth after baking them? Or does it feel... That's a good question, but it depends on the artist. So it, because sometimes, like some people, some people make dolls really like with a lot of washes. Um... And so they're just more smooth. Like I have a baby from Sweet Potato Pie Nursery from LaDonna Briggs. And that baby is soft. Like it's the vinyl. I was like, whoa, that's so soft. But then I have a baby from, let's see, who else is in my, um, gosh, those ones are like so old. Um, I'm trying to think of who would, oh, they don't really have rough. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Okay, so for example, this this one is a little bit rough. This is one that I just finished, um, but I am going to be putting more sealer on it. The only kids going to school here are the kids from doctors and nurses and frontliners. I mean, before the matte varnish. No, it shouldn't be before the matte varnish. Mm -mm. Not, I mean, not my, mine are not like that. So I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to put you guys down. <laughs> so then you can see my, my painting skills. Say goodbye to my double chin. Goodbye, double chin. <laughs> Whoa, that's not working. Oh my gosh, Jillian just sent me super cute baby stuff too. Thank you, Jillian, if you watch this later on at all. <laughs> okay. Oh. What the heck? I'm trying to say goodbye to my double chins. Ah, oh, you just gotta embrace it. Just gotta embrace it, just like this guy does. Okay, so I wanna send this one off. So I'm going to, I am, you know what? I think I'm gonna, hmm, what do I wanna do? I think this one would be okay. You don't know if you're doing it right? Well, that's why if you just started, you should, um, part, part of being an artist is, is trial and error. So I would say just keep doing it until you do it right. <laughs> or not even, to, not even until you do it right, but that you feel comfortable, comfortable with it. Um, I, cause I feel like it wouldn't be that, that rough if you're not finished or if it doesn't have any medium on it, I don't, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and 
put this one. Eh. Somebody just sent me a video of, I don't know why that hair is in there. What the heck? Just jump into my paint. Leave your DNA on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, somebody sent me a video of friggin' this train going by and there's like 50 tanks on it. I mean, I don't know if there was 50, but there was a lot. I, going to Fort Warden, which is in Washington State, like big ass tanks. Like what? Why? Is that because they think there's going to be some sort of like, like what? Like rebellion of people and they might have to contain them in their houses or something. Like, I don't know. Like what? I, I don't know. I'm like kind of freaking out. After I saw that, I was like, holy shite. Right? And the fact that everybody can't go across anybody's borders and stuff like that. It's like, I don't know, you guys. All we can do is paint. Right? Oopsie. Come on now. Okay. I'm gonna use this, this paintbrush. Let me just move you over here just a smidgen. I heard they were using them to move medical supplies, but why would you need a tank? <laughs> yeah, to move medical supplies and also the ship, like, like, what if, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to start conspiracies out there, but I mean, let's just, let's just be real about it. Okay, hold on. I need to go get a phone charger really quick because my phone's going to die and that's no fun at all. Right, Maverick? See that? Look at I have a long corded one now. <laughs> I'm so smart. Okay. Plug that bad boy in, right? Oh. Okay. So I am just going to seal this one up. Can you guys see okay? What do you think of this angle? Do you need it up a little bit? Like, I don't know. I don't know why this thing has to hate me so much and just. <laughs> What's going on? La la la. La la. La la. I'll give you ten dollars if you know what that's from. <laughs> I would know instantly. Okay, so this is just uh, this is my sealer. Okay, as you can see, it's sort of like butter. Tastes delicious when you put some garlic in it. Just be like, <laughs> right? Dip some breadsticks in there. That's what I'm talking about. You're not gonna freak out. Well, the Definitely, you just have to like be calm, right? I have a totally like it's my brain when it gets stressed out about stuff like that. I, it just turns off. <laughs> it's just like, nope, not today. So anyways, I'm just going to, uh, I'm sorry. I have to turn you a little bit because I won't be able to see what you guys are saying. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Anyway, let's finish putting butter on this baby. Very few of my babies are selling at the moment. I think, I think struggling to buy food, never mind reborns. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. 
And then, of course, the Rose Doll show was canceled and the Florida show. Being your new paint's only going to be the... Oh, I missed it. I tried that. Let's see. Being... Are your new paints only going to be only heat set? Yes, they are. Unfortunately. I tried heat set or uh, air dry paints and I don't know. I just... If it's not broke, don't fix it. That's my point. Yeah, I don't know what is good at, and also all those rose, wait, what? Is the Lala from the Naughty Boy song? No, it's from, it's from Monster House, you know, the little girl riding her tricycle, and she's like, la la, la la, la la, la la, la la, <laughs> and then, and then she goes on his grass, and he's like, stay off my lawn. <laughs> oh my god, I love that movie your sealer with garlic and bread oh it's good <laughs> yeah who knows who needs to go grocery shopping when you can just dip a foot into garlic and be like <laughs> right <laughs> hello first time reborn mom my brain is a complete opposite when i get stressed it starts a, a pocktail prepping <laughs> yeah well that's like a lot of people but you know what, it's, it's, when it's time to go, it's time to go. Our mother earth is just, is replenishing. But it's pretty crazy. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's like all of a sudden, like every so often I see this rainbow, her like pooping like on my boob. And I just think to myself, how amazing is that? <laughs> right? Look at it. that one likes it. Anyway, yeah, um, I think we're going to be okay in our whole, I mean, depending on like what country you're in and how, what the amount of people is and uh, yeah, or we're just all going to die. It's going to be one of the two. No worries. <laughs> It's really not funny, and I apologize for laughing at that. But, I mean, if you don't have a sense of humor in life, I don't know what to say about that. I actually added a little bit of, uh, let's see, when the dries before I bake, the paint feels like dry paint. After baking, it still feels the same. Are you putting, it sounds like you're putting too much on to me. Like too much paint. Because if it's not curing properly in Europe, yeah. I know, it's so scary. Well, we're right beside Canada. I'm literally, like British Columbia is literally uh, so close to me. And they've closed the borders and stuff and my entire family is in British Columbia. So it's crazy. And then my best friend lives in, hello, bundles of joy. Um, she's in Vancouver. Better to laugh than cry. See, exactly. That's exactly, that's, that's totally it. Yeah, I mean, you could just come on here and talk to people and, like, feel better. I mean, that's how I feel anyways. I feel like it's just a big party here in my studio right now. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. That one can go over here. Over yonder. How do I fix it? Or should I throw it away and start over? No, no, no. It is fixable. There's so many different circumstances though, so I'm I'm not really sure how to advise advise you on fixing it. Um it sounds to me like your paint is probably too thick and you're probably using more of a a paint that has substance, so a non-opaque or maybe it's opaque, which is it? I forget. It's it's like, I don't know. Um, it's better to laugh than spending time stressing over it. 
over what ifs. That's my philosophy in life. Uh, yeah, so she lives out in Vancouver, BC. And so she was like, yeah, we, and like public transportation there is insane. They have the SkyTrain. It's like, I mean, in there's more people in Texas than there is all of Canada, but Vancouver is busy enough that they could easily, easily just get flooded with sick people and just not enough. I mean, they already don't even have enough health providers. Like it's always, you know, their, their emergency rooms, you're in there for like eight and nine hours sometimes. When you have to go see a specialist, you have to wait like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 months to see one. Like you literally would die before you got to see a specialist. That's And then my point being is there's people still out in Vancouver in big crowds, like downtown Vancouver, around the seawall, at the beach there, and they're just going on with their day. And it just, it's so frustrating to me. It's like, can you please just do your part as a human being? This isn't about you. This is about... Uh, this is about everybody. This is about your grandma, your like all your your fa your entire family, your friends, your you don't know who can have it and who doesn't have it. And just the fact that you can save lives by staying in your house, how how much more privileged could you possibly be? Like, oh no, I have to stay at home with kids and be a parent. Well, we can go shopping and get food for them and have medical care and literally do like for me specifically, like I paint anyways during the day, but I mean, it sucks and it's scary, but at the same time, it's like if everybody does their part, then we should be able to defeat it a lot faster than if we weren't doing our part. Like I won't even go to see dream right now he's at the he's at the boarding place and let's see so we're on day 10 and I won't go there because they're in their 70s and he has health issues and if anything happened to them I would feel so guilty even though other people go there and I wash my hands and stuff like that I don't care like I will not chance it like I will absolutely not chance it having your videos to watch helps that's good. Helps me too. I bake on power level P10 for eight. What? I'm not really sure what P10 means. Um, let's see. Power six times eight. Overnight, they expected us to know exactly how to na navigate all my kids' uh, Chromebooks and all the different classrooms they need to visit work it's nuts yeah everything's online they just all the teachers like the lunches the teach um the subjects the teachers it's all it's all here for us even like social media news anything you could possibly want to find out you can find out i mean take away the internet and then we'd have mass hysteria <laughs> uh so Scorching the pan. Amy, what ring? The oven extension. P10 is number one. Okay, so if are okay, so are you having are do you use new wave ovens? Yeah, people without hobbies are going crazy. I, I know, like I would agree with that. Some people have a hard time staying at home where others are like, nothing's changed. Like I'm an introvert, like this is my life every day. Um, I'm not like that, but I do love to go out. But, um, I mean, it's, it's understandable, but at the same time, you should be grateful that, that you can help by just staying at home and not spreading the virus. The extender ring. Okay. Yeah. So you have to have an extender ring, but that wouldn't be making it not cure properly. Right. Yeah. We all have our, is this a reborn? This is a reborn. Yes, I'm a reborn too. Hello, I'm a reborn. My name is Bean and I poop rainbows. <laughs> I'm not sure why I had to say it in that other voice, but I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
And not only that, about the whole, like, YouTube, you know, live thing and, like, I just spit coffee. Um, I, I feel like it's, it's so good to just get away from the gong show. You know, it's like you can come here and be like, oh, okay, well, this girl, she, she might be okay. Right? Or maybe not. Either way, there's us visiting, which I appreciate you guys all being here. Ah, you made it! Woo! Today I figured out how to set it, how to set a timer, but I was 15 minutes early. <laughs> anyway, I put it back on. My live videos, I put back on anyway, so you can watch the beginning and whatever you want to do. It's up to you, okay? I'm not twisting your rubber arm. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, let's see here. I'm on a quarantine every day after work. I love staying home. It's my sanctuary. So power level six, right? Eight minutes. We clearly do not use the same oven because <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I use a new wave oven and I also have extender rings in each one. Any news when the paints will be released? Yes, I have the link in the description for the paints. And they have been selling. Let's see, but you're supposed to twist your, twist your beanstalk. Twist, twist my twisted beanstalk. It's, it's like, it's pretty crazy. So around the world, how they're like, like all of a sudden, you know, people are like self-quarantine, self-quarantine, stay at home, like restrictions, school is out and business is out and all, everybody's doing stuff online. Like it's pretty crazy how like simultaneously, simultaneously, sim, <laughs> sim ah! what is it? What is it, you guys? Simultaneously? <laughs> Why am I such a nerd? I don't know. I don't know why I am. I'm just born that way. I'm just going to put this baby right there for a little bit. Simultaneously. Thank you. Simultaneously. Yeah. Everybody, right? Don't you think it's creepy? Like... It's so creepy how everything is all of a sudden online computers, like no, like, you know, social distancing, but now it's like even gone past that. And, and then there's all these new jobs of like curbside, come and pick it up here, pick it up there. And it's like, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know the word that I'm looking for, how it makes me feel. It's, it's kind of bizarre because Hmm. I don't know. It, it's I, I don't really know how to explain my feeling right now. Um, it, I feel like things have changed, but then they're not going to go back. It's like, it's like history takes steps forward and then generally they don't take, excuse me, they don't take it back or it doesn't go back. So it's like, we're making history, but is this our, is, is this how it is from now on? I mean, obviously like with businesses and stuff, they'll, they'll go back, but it makes me think of what's going to stay and what's going to, what, what's going to stay and what's going to move society in the world. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I love you too. Try, let's try to get us to stay home ready for robot delivery of all. Yeah, you know what I, do you, see? 
You know what I mean? It's like, what is... I don't know. It's like extraterrestrial. I had a dream about aliens last night, too. It's like super creepy. Oh, my horse was in my dream. He always saves me. Okay, so I think, let's see. What should we do for this baby? Um, I think I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start finally only um, 50 minutes into the movie. If you don't have a book for your own oven, Google it and get a manual online. Uh, yeah, your oven is not like mine, so I, I cannot advise you. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I have to seal up this baby, too. And then we can see skinny, tiny little limbs. <laughs> then I can at least put it up on Etsy or something. So can I send you the link if you need it? So here's the one baby that I was working. Sparkly. Okay, so I'm gonna seal up this baby and I was thinking about sealing it with a yellow, but that's not gonna work because as soon as I put yellow on this side, it's gonna go green. And I don't want to have it green, so I think what I'm going to do is, I think I'll seal it up with the same thing, but I'm going to add, I'm going to add some of my new Fantasy FX paints. Ooh! Can you take an old baby and make it a vampire baby? Sure you can. You just bite it in the face! Ah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so this here, you know what? This is not even a, oh, that's, I don't know why that's there. That would have been not good if I put that on there. Let's see here. This is the unicorn. Unicorn. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so sparkly. It's, it is so much sparkly in person than the photos on McPherson. Like, it totally blings. All you have to do is just sculpt. Just sculpt some, some, uh... I wonder what will happen if I use this color on it. Should we see? Should we just do it and be rebels? I think we should. Actually, that might be... Mm, let me see. See, now I'm question, questioning my abilities. This one is so pretty too. These are so blingy. I love them. I love them. Yes, I do. But here's the mermaid green. I could probably use, ah, let's use the mermaid. Let's use the mermaid green. Shall we? You want to, you want to eat it? It looks delicious. Doesn't taste delicious. Children, don't try that at home. Okay, so I'm gonna add some, a little bit of thinner. Yeah, oh man. Gotta get my house ready. I gotta switch over some beds. Okay, so let me just grab something over here. So you're gonna wanna have some popsicle sticks and uh, I know that I have toothpicks somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. I knew I had them. And a Q-tip. So if you want to just make sure this is even and it goes on even, give it a little stir. Cause it does have medium in it. So you don't necessarily like you can uh, use it like this. So pretty boundary. What are you growling at? Yourself? Ooh, 
is so pretty. My goodness, look at the shimmer. Okay, so it has a, gosh, I wish that I knew how to use my camera properly. <laughs> So I have the mermaid green in there, which has a slight shimmer. And I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add some other fancy colors. Toothpicks are the easiest to use to stir these up. The paints, you don't necessarily have to Baby next to you look like an alien? Probably. Probably has to meet to, probably, oh. <laughs> probably has to do with me watching like YouTube and like the news and stuff and conspiracies. <laughs> I actually don't watch conspiracies, but I'm, I feel like a conspiracy is happening in my brain. And I'm like, shh, shh, no, no. Just like that. Okay, let's get this baby sealed. Let's see, maybe you uh, need a class on this tutorial aren't, aren't working for me. Um, what's not working for you? Everything? Okay. So this I have in this mixture, my bulldog. So this is glazing gel with some thinner and linseed oil and a little bit of satin varnish. And that's what I'm gonna seal this baby up with. Twy Twy! Here's my adorable bulldog. <laughs> How's my breast smell? Smell good? <laughs> That's my adorable French bulldog. She's so adorable, isn't she? Uh, Twyla, it's T-W-Y-L-A. I know she's loving that, I know. She, she just loves to be loved, that one. Okay, so I'm going to, let's see. Um, Gonna put it on with this one. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. It is so shimmery and pretty. So even though this looks like it's a bright green, it will not go on that bright. Pretty. Oof. Me likey. So that is the mermaid green that I just put all over the limb. And then I use this brush. This is a dry brush. And it's because it just gives it a texture. I just really, really love the way that it looks. Sparkly. I know. It's important to seal these up as well because, whoa. Ah, see that paintbrush just jumped right out of my hand. It's important to seal it so you're gonna lock in all that color and lock in the sparkle or the shimmer. But you can also use the color right out of the jar or or just use it with uh, a really small amount of paint thinner. If you use Genesis thinner, it's going to make it pretty translucent. You generally don't have to use. You don't have to use Genesis thinner, honestly, like a lot because it's just going to make your paint. It's going to make it a little bit harder to cure evenly so it's better to prep your vinyl with it or some of it use some some of the genesis thinner um, and then paint the babies with layers of paint with thinner and then when you want to when it's time to lock in all that color then you would want to use like a Genesis thinner with like a satin varnish you can also seal with a glazing gel same it does the same thing but with the glazing gel if you put it on like on the sponge and put it on it'll give uh, that dewy skin for people who make regular reborns it gives the it gives it more of like a textured feeling which looks pretty cool but again I would say that's probably pretty advanced because if you don't mix it properly, then you might run into some issues. And there's one hand. I think I'm gonna put this baby up on Etsy by the end of the day. Look at this little one just being naughty over here. Here we go. Ooh, the sun keeps on playing peekaboo. Whoa, what was that? What a naughty little head. Did you see that? It's like, I'm taking off. Goodbye, as I slam my face into the ground. Do you think that's what it said? I cannot believe that, oh, I'm so bummed about my vacation getting 
ruined. Oh man. It's so sad too because the, this whole thing going on because a lot of you are from there's so many different people from so many places and it's it's happening everywhere i just worry about the countries that have basically don't have medical centers even in the slightest to even begin to treat these people but then also they're not going to be tested because they're not going to have the ability to record all the information and so because it's new you know people could be losing their lives but they don't exactly know why so then they don't report it as it being from the virus like there's just not enough data and normally in that situation Yeah, the row show is definitely canceled for sure. Um, what was what the heck was I just saying now? Oh, Moen Lin Lin. Oh yeah, usually the U.S. like if it if something happens from a different part of the world, the U.S. usually like you know is able to kind of step in and to help. But in this situation, they're like they're right in it too. So. Just crazy. I don't know. My goodness, I put this on here and it just made the the glittery parts look amazing. It's all glittery and amazing. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I'm going to have to take another kind of Hey light freaking cool is that I like it so this one is basically done I just have to put it together and uh, do I have a body do I have it yeah it's pretty little uh, I just put my elbow in that There's winter and spring. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like on, on this body, shall we? Oh, how's that? <laughs> That's just not right. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna let this one dry for a little bit before I stick it in the oven. Before I stick it in the oven. So that one is pretty much done. And um, oh, guys, oh, bleh.
Holy. What the heck? There we go. Sorry, I had to strip down a little bit. Um, okay, so I think maybe the best thing to do for this baby is to start it and then paint like halfway and then and then come on and paint it. see what they look like in here. The Kurzmungins escape from the dying moon. That is just too freaking cute. I just, I really want to get the other one. That's so cute. Oh my God. Hmm. Um, okay, so let's see how long have we been on for 71 minutes. Wow, everybody give yourself a round of applause. Right? Do a new kind of fist bump where you're just like, uh, and elbow people. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would recommend, um, uh, gosh, I'm gonna have to change the title of this video now because I feel like it's kind of false advertising. F advertising. <laughs> Advertisement. Um, but yeah, I would recommend getting some toothpicks so you can stir up your paints really good when you get them. And it is kind of satisfying too, actually, when you, when you mix it, I don't, I'm not exactly sure why. Let's see, let's see if we can... Guys, why can I never do it properly? What what is what's the <gasps> Like I don't understand why I can never do this. <laughs> right? Like why? Phone. Why phone? Phone. Look at I need you to focus on this part. Phone, you a-hole. Anyway, you guys, why can't I do it? Ooh. I'm just very entertained on how sparkly this is. <laughs> so that is the unicorn. So, so pretty. Like it's so nice. I, the, the, the pictures definitely does not do it justice. I feel like. I don't know why I'm so entertained by this right now. <laughs> right? Like, I feel like if I were to sneeze right now, that's what it would look like. Right? Achoo! Oh, Bean just sneezed sparkle, like usual. So there's that one, and then let me try to show you the black. Wait. Dog. 
I just had a delivery. Let's see if I can get you get you guys to see. No, oh, it's probably a little bit easier to do it the other way. Shut. Shush, you little bulldog. Shut your face. <laughs> right? Shut your face. So here's the black or the Pegasus. And as you can see, it's so pretty. Again, has like a lot of the hollow in it, but it's hard to see from this angle. You can see it a little bit. But yeah, so that is the Pegasus. Um, and then the purple, let me get this one going. This is the one that I want, I definitely want to use on this one, but I was like, should I start with it or just wait and then put it on top? I think, I think that's basically the best thing to do is paint it and then put it on top. Let's see. It is, it's like, oh, it's so nice. Hello. Hello, people. And then again, you can see the, the actual little paint little paint jar you can do it but yeah see there you go so pretty this color the pixie purple is amazing I cannot wait to start with this one or use it not start with it but use it and then this one is the pink the enchanted magenta which has more of like a purpley pink hue That iridescent, oh my God, it's love that iridescent look. This one is more iridescent rather than it having sparkles in it, but it does shimmer. I know, so nice, I just love them. But anyways, yeah, there they are. Let me go back and see, let's see. Do you have a dog? Yes. <laughs> of a King Corso, which is an Italian Mastiff, and I have a French Bulldog. <laughs> Boo. That's funny. Um, yeah, so... Well, I guess I should go. So I apologize for people that just got on here. Ooh, I put the Pegasus black in here and it just darkened up the green slightly. And it's really cool. There's actually other colors coming out. I was trying to get you to see the, unfortunately it's, yes, I still have my pig. Um, unfortunately it's hard to see when it's like all liquidy and together. Hello, how are you? How are you today? <laughs> I hope I can help you more. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to, so I'm going to bake these babies, put them together. One is getting shipped later on. One I'm going to put up for sale. Uh, yeah, I swallowed it, my piercing. So 
I had a, I had a smaller barbell and they're really hard to find. And like it came out and I swallowed it and I was like, ah, uh, and I only had the bead. So then I went to a couple places to try to get a new one, but they, they didn't carry the really small ones. And then not long after, cause I've had this piercing since God, I probably had it for 20, 20 year, years, 20, 15 to 20 years. I've had it a really long time. And but what happened was because it was out and it, because I laugh a lot and I smile a lot, it like, it didn't close up, but it kind of, I don't know, like, I feel like the skin was getting really thin right there. And then I was worried it was going to split. So then I was like, oh, maybe just keep it out just in case. But I do want to put it back in now that it's all better. But it's hard to find the this, this short barbell. I, you didn't, I didn't do the dog thing. What dog thing? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Check your poo. Thank goodness that virus. Boundary? That doesn't, the, uh. There she is, right there. She's looking at you guys like she's not impressed at all, by the way. Huh, Boundary? Pretty girl. Yeah, she's me pretty girl. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's my dog, Boundary. She's beautiful. We love her. She, oh, she's, she went and got her squeaky. Did you hear that? She's a blue tri. Blue tri king corso. She's natural. Bet you she brought me her. <laughs> oh, watch this. This is so funny. Get it, Boundary. Get it. Get it, Boundary. Get it, Boundary? <laughs> she just bops it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, come here. Wait, come here, bring them here. Bring them here, bring them here. <sighs> Watch, she's gonna, she's gonna play with her squeaky. She loves that thing. Okay, here. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. There. There's Serenity with her children, her fur children. <laughs> Look at their faces. I know. Moon, so I put her on his chair with him, and then she nipped his cord on oh, his earbuds. Did she wreck it? I don't know. Oh, Moon, you a-hole. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, okay, so uh, I'm gonna go because I've been on for a while, but I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me and everything, and I feel so much better because I'll think about stuff and it'll be on my mind for so long and I'll be like, okay, well, maybe I can like write it down. I want to talk about blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, you guys know how I am. I'm just not like that. Like I just kind of like, blah. even if I have something specific, it still is kind of like all intertwined together. So I was like, well, you know, I'm sure they can crack my code now. Right? Yeah. How about you? God, it's so, I need eyes for it though. It has big eyes. Hmm, I wonder if I should paint. Should I paint eyes? I don't know. Um, it's, yeah, yeah, it's good just to, it's like, it's like not as official, I guess. You know what I mean? It's kind of just like 
general like how we would talk if we were like at a house having tea coffee together it would just be like you know like normal like us but um yeah so I loved it anyways you guys I'm gonna go and thank you so much for hanging out with me like I said and I'll be back um I know how to do a scheduled video now so I will hopefully give you guys notice of course, it's a little bit easier now for people to catch the daytime lives because um, it's like friends chatting. Exactly. Like, that's so how I feel. Totally. Um, yeah, so everybody's home and, and stuff like that. So, you know, but um, I'm going to have to I, I have to go because I need to bake these. And then plus I have to do some things around the house for the foster foster babies and the foster kids um that i'll be taking soon so um i'll but i'll put it in the description for everybody and um leave it up to you guys so anyways thank you guys and uh yeah i'll see you later be safe bye